106.5. Straight from Nashville. It's country music news. Dustin Lynch been dating a model named uh, Kelly Seymour just over a year now. And uh, she, yes, she's a stunner. Of course she is. Uh, but she's more than just a gorgeous face and figure. Uh, she actually checks a whole roster of boxes for him in terms of a great relationship. Here's the deal. Uh, he said, there's something comfortable about us. She's okay with my family. I'm okay with her family. And getting the thumbs up from my family is a big deal. And so People Magazine was interviewing Dustin Lynch, and they pulled up a video from about two and a half years ago that he had done. And during that he was interview, he was asked, tell me the qualities of your dream girl. And as it turns out, he said, somebody who wasn't into yourself, laid back, confident, loved to laugh, spontaneous, and likes to travel. So they played it back for him, and he said, she checked all the boxes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's this, her. Uh, this is awesome. Yeah, good for him. I remember when he was like keeping her like quiet and keeping yeah. her off Instagram. Then I started seeing in some of his videos and stuff, she was with him. I was like, oh, look at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they go on like massive, like like big hikes in foreign countries and foreign lands. I'm like, wow, that yeah. ain't bad. Nice deal. Yeah. Nice deal. She's uh, all the boxes are checked. Yep. All right. How'd it go, Dustin? Lady Antebellum uh, awarded the 2020 St. Jude Hospital Angels Among Us Award. And Hillary Scott spoke on behalf of the band Friday night in Memphis at the uh, at St. Jude Hospital. Actually, it was at the Peabody Hotel uh, and said, um, we love spreading the message of the world renowned Children's Hospital and Research Center. And uh, we are humbled to be part of a community that emphasizes philanthropy at every stage. Much deserved award. Award. Previous award winners, Jake Owen, Brad Paisley, Darius Rucker, and the list goes on. Very it's, nice. It's nice, nice seeing all those uh, country artists lined up. And you know, the nice thing about St. St. Jude that I learned from all these country artists visiting and everything, they uh, share their research with other hospitals. So other hospitals, oh, they time. say, uh, you know, you got to come to us to get our, you know, our way around this. And uh, St. Jude shares it with everyone. So. That's, that's Ju- yeah, St. Yeah. Jude, it's, it's an amazing hospital. I uh, lived in Memphis very briefly and uh, a hockey coach and buddy of mine was a research doctor at St. Jude. Oh, cool. So I got the backdoor tour that is like, oh my God. And yeah. the work that they do around the world, it's not just caring for kids. They do. He was working on what if swine flu and bird flu got together? How would we wow. come up with something that would save the people that survived? Wow. That's what, wow. That's what this guy did. And I actually know him. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, so you're first in line if that wow. ever happens. Yeah, like, <laughs> wow. But yeah, that hospital founded, you know, by Danny Thomas because, uh, you know, he, he needed to get um, his wife and kid and he didn't have money for them to in the, in the hospital. And so he's like, I'm going to, you know, when I get out of this and he made it in showbiz so we could do it, he said, I'm going to find a hospital. I'm going to do this as a hospital so yeah. that people can go there without worrying about cost. It yeah, is an amazing great. hospital yeah. if you want to check into it. All right. On with uh, country music. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, Marin Morris, not in the hospital to deliver yet, but she went to social media updating on her pregnancy. And she said her hormones have been making her emotional in the most unexpected ways. <laughs> she called her she called her uh, her tweet third trimester hormone update. Oh, <laughs> My nail lady said. Your face doesn't even look that fat. What a nice thing to say. <laughs> what wow. a way to say it. I mean, it's a compliment, but... Oh, yes. Uh. And Marin, Marin teared up. She said, I was so touched by that compliment. <laughs> uh, yeah, her and uh, husband Ryan heard expecting a baby boy in March or April. Let's hope for April because she is scheduled to appear at uh, the Houston Rodeo on March the 7th. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and about that... That she tweets pregnant at the Houston Rodeo. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Great. More at tasteofcountry.com and q1065.f.